When purchasing a property, one of the main requirements is to carefully study and verify the property title. But what if there is an annotation on the title? And joining us again from Security Bank is our good friend Ernest Abanto, Senior Assistant Vice President. Again, Ernest, thank you for your time. Now, Ernest, um, we're very curious. Many people sometimes when they go apply for a home loan in the bank, they bring collateral. And you see the collateral is a, a title to a yes. previous property. And on those titles, you find something which is called an annotation. For somebody who might not be aware of what an annotation is, what does it mean when you see that on a title? First, there's Section 7, RA26. The second is uh, Section 4, Rule 74. Okay. Section 7 means it was a reconstituted uh, title, so the title might have been destroyed or lost. Now it was uh, reconstituted. So they had to like reprint uh, the title? Yes, yes. Okay. And then there's a prescribed period for two years of which uh, if there are claimants, they could claim over the property. So when you get something like that one, with that annotation, uh, what does that mean to you as a potential home loan buyer? For a potential home loan borrower, of course, uh, they have to conduct due diligence, no? mm -hmm. especially when they're applying for a bank uh, loan. What uh, we will do as a bank, we will require them, if within the prescribed period, okay. we will require them to, to get a, a reconstitution bond during that two years prescribed period. If the prescribed period has lapsed already, okay. we can just uh, require them to issue a file petition to cancel. Ah, I see. So we can push through. So th that just means that you just submit document to the bank to say that you filed something to say that you can have this cancelled yes, yes. already. But that is after the prescribed period. After the prescribed period, which is two years. Yes. And more or less, what would be the, the bond that you have to pay? Uh, for let's say uh, uh, it depends on the loan amount mm -hmm. but uh, roughly it ranges from 20 to 30,000 pesos now you're talking about another as well another annotation which you always see on the title which yes, is section 4 rule 74 okay that's inheritance so if it's with that within the prescribed period uh, we have to require you to give us an heirs bond mm -hmm. Okay, just for the protection also of the bank and the borrower. Mm -hmm. And then if it lapsed already, we will just require you to issue a, uh, an extrajudicial settlement and then we can proceed now with the, with the loan. Okay, if it's an heirs bond, more or less how much is that heirs bond? It's uh, uh, roughly it's the same, same cost same price as, as well. the constitutional okay. bond. And then for that extrajudicial settlement, do you necessarily have to be uh, one of those included in that extrajudicial settlement, meaning I'm the home loan borrower and I'm in part of it, or maybe you got that property from somebody and... Uh... Yes, yes, you could do that. You don't have to be included in that uh, filed petition or mm -hmm. extrajudicial settlement. It has to be filed by the person selling the property. A any other tips for any other, anybody else, let's say at the very start, what they should watch out for when it comes to annotations, when they receive titles as collaterals and there's an annotation on it? We really conduct extra due diligence mm -hmm. no, in uh, verifying titles. We check for annotations, if it's good or bad, and then we will relay it to the borrower. Basically, uh, prior to the uh, loan being released to mm -hmm. the borrowers, we really have uh, conducted those diligence that we are assured of a clean title before we release the loan. Proceeds. I see. That's why Better Banking always begins with Security Bank. Again, Ernest, yeah. thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it.